hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video lecture we will discuss on a working principle of hydro power plant first of all what is hydro power in hydro power the meaning of hydro means water it is a greek latin word and uh, hydro power is the energy that comes from the force of moving water the fall and flow of water is a part of continuous natural cycle the sun draws moisture up from the ocean and rivers and the moisture then condenses into clouds in the atmosphere the moisture falls as rain or snow and uh, refilling the ocean and rivers so the hydro power is called a renewable energy source because it is uh, replenished by snow and rainfall now we will discuss the history of hydro power plant hydro power has been used for centuries people have taking the energy in moving water from thousands of years and today it's still a power resources that can be generate clean and renewable energy the people used water wheels to grind wheat into flour more than so many years ago in the early uh, 18th century american and uh, european factories used the water wheel to uh, to produce the power for their machines the water wheel is a simple machine the water wheel uh, pick up uh, flowing water in buckets located around the wooden wheels and uh, the weight of the water causes the wheel to turn or rotate water wheels uh, convert the kinetic energy of water into mechanical energy and uh, then the mechanical energy can then be used used to grind grain uh, drive saw mills or uh, pumps water as people discover uh, centuries ago the flow of water uh, represents a huge supply of kinetic energy that can be put to work water wheels are useful for uh, generating mechanical energy to grind grain but uh, they are not practically for uh, generating electricity because uh, the size of the water wheels is uh, too much high as well as uh, it is uh, too much bulky and it will rotate slowly hydroelectric plants are very different they use turbine generators to produce electricity so let's take a closer look how a hydro power plant works a hydro power plant uses the force of falling water to generate electricity a typical hydro power plant is a system it consists of dam trash rack spillway penstock surge tank and power station so let's discuss one by one the first one is dam dams are a structure built over rivers to stop the water flow and uh, form a reservoir the reservoir store the water flowing down the river the water is diverted to the turbine in power station the dam collects water during the raining seasons and store it thus uh, allowing for a steady flow through the turbines throughout the year okay so here the elevation difference will be generated and uh, we know that uh, potential energy is a energy due to elevation difference or height difference so we can convert the potential energy into kinetic energy by rotating the turbine wheels dams are also used for controlling floods store water for irrigation and uh, the dam should be water tight and should be withstand the uh, pressure exerted by the water on it there are different types of dams such as arch dams uh, gravity dams and uh, butters dam the height of the water in the dam is called head rest to make electricity a dam opens its gate to allow water from the reservoir to flow through the large tube called a penstock at the bottom of the penstock the fast moving water uh, spins the blades of a turbine the turbine is connected to a generator to produce the electricity the electricity then uh, it transport via huge transmission line to a local utility company as well as uh, uh, we can also supply it uh, for domestic usage next one is trash racks trash racks are installed in the intake system of hydro power plant to prevent entrance of large debris uh, which can damage turbine parts and uh, cause serious problem in the power plant operation another main purpose of trash rack is to prevent uh, fish uh, species from entering the intake system next one is a spillway a spillway as the name suggested could be called as a way of spilling of water from dams it is used to provide uh, for a release of flood water from a dam 
and uh, it used to prevent over topping of the dams which uh, could uh, result in damage or uh, failure of dams next one is a uh, penstock and tunnels penstocks are the pipes which uh, carry water from the reservoir to the turbine inside the power station they are usually made of steel and uh, are equipped with uh, gate system water under high pressure flows through the penstock and uh, one end of the penstock is connected uh, with dam side and another is connected with turbine side the same function of the tunnel it is used when any obstacle is present between the dam and the power station such as a mountain okay so the function of the penstock and tunnels are same next one is a surge tank surge tanks are the tanks connected to the water conductor system it uh, serve the purpose of reducing the water hammering in the pipe which can uh, cause the damage of pipes so the sudden uh, surges of water in a penstock is taken by the surge tank and uh, when the water uh, requirement increases so at that time uh, it can supply the collected water so we can control uh, or we can regulate the water flow and uh, pressure inside the penstock this is the function of surge tank next one is power station or electric plant where the electricity is produced power station contains a turbine coupled to a generator the water brought to the power station rotated the blades of the turbine producing torque and uh, rotation of the turbine shaft this uh, rotational torque is transferred to the generator and uh, it will be converted into electrical energy the second wave of hydroelectricity production is a uh, runoff river hydro runoff river plant uh, produce energy from the available flow and uh, the natural elevation drop of a river it is suitable for uh, rivers that uh, have at least minimum flow all year around this power plant can be with pondage or without pondage a runoff river plant without pondage has uh, no control over river flow and uh, uses the water as it comes from a plant without pondage is subjected to seasonal river flows thus the plant will operate uh, as an uh, intermittent energy source this plant usually supply peak load during uh, floods the tail water level may become excessive and uh, rendering the plant inoperative so at that time the runoff river with pondage may supply base load or peak load power at the time of uh, high water flow it may be uh, base loaded and uh, during dry seasons it may be peak loaded there are uh, various sizes of hydro power plant uh, that produce electricity large hydro uh, greater than 30 megawatt small hydro in between uh, 100 kilowatt to 30 megawatt and uh, micro hydro less than a 100 kilowatt the hydro power plants are the best from many view points there are uh, several benefits of the hydro power plant like as uh, they are simple in design easy to maintain pollution free with uh, zero fueling cost the operating cost of the hydro power plant uh, including auxiliaries is uh, considerably low when compared with thermal power plant cost of uh, power uh, generation is less life expectation of a hydro power plant is more the useful life of a thermal power plant uh, we know that it is in between 20 to 25 years as against uh, uh, the life of the hydro power plant is 100 to 125 years there is no any problem of handling the fuel and uh, ash and uh, exhaust gases and soots and uh, no health hazards due to air pollution hydroelectric plants are quick to respond to the change of load flexible and uh, economical in operation usually the hydro stations are suited away from the develop areas so therefore the cost of land is not a major problem it does not contribute to air and water pollution to greenhouse effects even though in hydro power plants dams are also used for uh, controlling floods store water for irrigation and drinking water supply these are the several benefits of hydro power plant thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you to understand the working principle of hydro power plant and uh, there are several benefits